Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you two delicious ways of making cold coffee at your home. It's summertime, we definitely want some cool delicious beverage to chill with. So this could be something that you could try it at home and it's very easy to make and with simple ingredients. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the first way and continue uh, the video with the second uh, way. So let's start the recipe. In order to make my cold coffee, the first way, ingredients I have taken is sugar, grated almond. This of course is optional. However, it makes my coffee taste so much better and also it has great nutritional value. One fourth cup of water, three fourth whole milk of per your container. I have taken some ice and these were the almonds that I grated. Hershey's chocolate syrup, Nescafe, instant coffee, and the blender. I'll be using blender for this recipe. So let's get started. So now I'll be adding all my ingredients to my blender. Milk, one fourth cup of water, four teaspoons of sugar. Of course, the sugar depends on your taste and your container. As I have a bigger container, I will be adding four, I would say five teaspoons of sugar because I have a bigger glass. I'm going to add five teaspoons of sugar. And I will be adding my instant coffee. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of my instant coffee. It of course depends on your glass. And now I'm going to be adding my ice. Okay. I'll also add some of my grated almonds here so that it can be mixed. Now we are ready to blend everything up. As you can see, there's a bubble formation. The more you blend, the more better results you get and it tastes so much better. So I blended my coffee almost like one to two minutes now and I'm ready to serve my cold coffee to the glass. However, I'm gonna be using my chocolate syrup. I'm gonna garnish my glass with the chocolate syrup like this. I'm gonna make sure I'm just here you have it it might be a little too much but it does taste so much better with the chocolate syrup now I'm gonna sprinkle the grated almonds right here to the chocolate syrup here I'm gonna add some more of my almond grated almond round and I'm gonna mix. Okay, so now I am ready to pour my cold coffee to my glass here. Mm. Just look at that. Just look at that. Let me show you. Here you have it. Here you go. This is my perfect cold coffee. Now I'm going to garnish this with some of my grated almonds. I'm also going to sprinkle some instant coffee on the top. There you have it. Here we go. Add some more. And the more the better. I'm going to add some more of this grated almonds here and here you go this is my delicious cold coffee I'm moving on to my second way of making my delicious cold coffee the ingredients I have taken is 3 4 cup of half and half 
some ice, honey. I will be substituting sugar with honey today. And for my uh, first way of making cold coffee, I did use instant coffee for the for this method. I will be using hazelnut cream flavored coffee and also Hershey's chocolate syrup. And uh, the last but not the least is gonna be heavy whipping cream. This of course is alternative. It also do have a lot of calories. However, it does make my uh, coffee taste so much better. So I'm definitely gonna be adding three, two to three teaspoons of heavy whipping cream. So let's get started with the recipe. All right, so I have already brewed my hazelnut coffee in my coffee maker. Now I'm gonna first garnish my glass with the chocolate syrup, Hershey's chocolate syrup. Now I'm gonna add my honey on the bottom so that it gets mixed pretty nicely. I'm gonna add around two tablespoon of honey because I want my cold coffee to be sweet as this is a substitute to sugar so I'm gonna add a lot of honey to make it sweeter. Next I'm gonna add my ice so that it gets a lot too much ice. Now I'm ready to pour in my brewed hazelnut creamer coffee. Of course, I did let this sit for a while. I did let it cool for a while. If you do not want to wait, you probably can add some ice on it so that it gets uh, cool sooner. So I'm going to pour some of my coffee. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pour the coffee half of my glass and I'm going to add my half and half to the top right here. Yummy. And to add to the taste, I'm also going to add two tablespoons of my heavy creamer, heavy whipping cream. Here you see. Here you go. Now you can get a spoon or a spatula, or I'm, I'm taking a chopstick and I'm just going to swirl it all here so that my honey is going to be pretty blended. You can see the chocolate here. It's on the bottom. I'm just going to swirl it real nicely. To finish off my cold coffee, I would just garnish, add some honey on the top and also some chocolate syrup to make it look a little prettier. There you go. And there you go. So this is my perfect cold coffee. There you go. Alright guys, so this was my two ways of making delicious cold coffee. You guys can try it at home and comment below which way was the best for you. And guys, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.